But today we're going to be hiking a mountain called Nuki-san and it's part of Hilaodai in Fukuoka. I wanted to show everyone this book that I have. You know, if you're from Fukuoka, um, I recommend getting this book and it shows all the mountains that you can hike uh, in Fukuoka Prefecture. It has about 90 of them, it's a lot. So this is the book that I'm using uh, and my goal is to hike all of these mountains right here. And here's the map of Fukuoka Prefecture with you know, all the uh, mountains that you can hike. So my goal is to go through all of these mountains and hike all of them. I've only probably done 20 of the 90. And doing only one mountain a month is going to take some time, but that's my plan. So let's start doing Nuki-san Mountain, shall we? Let's go. It's a nice day today, so it, it, I don't think there are mu many trees here, so it's like all open air. Uh, so let's let's start the hike. As you can see, there are many trees. Limestone, I think. It's not even like Japan. This area. And beautiful nature and stuff. They also have a cave out here with water, which is pretty cool. You know, the cave, which I've been to before. Here it is, right here. Where are we? This is where we are. Right here. And yeah, we'll probably go up this way. And then we want to go this way to Mount Nuki. Looks like they have a shrine over this way. This isn't the way I want to take. But I do want to look at that shrine. They have a spider webs already. Just started. Doesn't even look like Japan. All these limestones and things. Grasshoppers. This is the Laodai Shrine. Switzerland or somewhere. Definitely doesn't look like Japan. Hilodai is famous for these limestones. Where I'm from in America, in Delaware, there are a lot of limestones. There's a popular road called Limestone Road. And you can see them spread out throughout the mountain. All the limestones. See it very well, but you can see the limestone. I think I'll get 
keep this as a memory. Hiking, you know, a guy. The view back there is very nice. It's like three mountains. A layer of three or four mountains right there. I'm not counting here you know what I Clicking sound. Hmm, so it says eventually it's going to take me up around that area. I have to go down and around. I could have went a different way, but I wanted to see the shrine, so kind of taking a roundabout way. It's okay. I have nothing to do today except this. It'll work. No kids. They went to their grandparents' house. So it's a free day. Okay, it says scenic route. I'm sure you all can read English. Most of you. Hey, hi. There's a stone Buddha. Ishiken or Ishibutsu. When I was younger, a free day would have meant something totally different. I would have spent that day doing probably things I can't say here. Hanging out with my friends, playing video games, which was fun. It was time well spent, but never would have imagined that I'd be in... Kitakyushu, Fukuoka, Japan. Whoa, there's a bee. And uh, kind of hiking a mountain. <laughs> Never would have guessed it 20 years ago. But here I am. It's funny how life, how life works. What is that clicking? Flying around here, clicking after. Uh oh, I think the bird's gonna go try to eat it. Maybe not, but that's what it is. That's the clicking thing. Oh, it's another bird. They're all flying around clicking. As if they're using echolocation or something. Ooh, what was that? That's a lizard. how life works. I went uh, to the University of Delaware and I wanted to study Chinese uh, but at the time they didn't offer Chinese so instead I took Japanese at the University of Delaware. Shout out to Miller Sensei. Anyway, uh, yes yeah, so I took the first semester of uh, Chinese so open air I mean I took the first semester of Japanese I wanted to take Chinese but they didn't offer it so then the next semester they started offering Chinese now this is a, a point in my life that could have probably changed everything and if I would have stopped learning Japanese and studied Chinese I'd probably be in China right now somewhere. 
But I figured, you know, I already took a semester of Japanese. I don't want to waste that. So uh, I stuck with the Japanese. And here I am. You know, there's certain points in life that alter the future. Like significant points. Every choice you make leads to something different in your life, a different path. But um, there are significant points in your life that could seriously alter your future. And for me, that's one of them. Because you know, I'd probably be on Wudan Mountain right now instead of uh, Hilaodai. Look at all these daikon. Daikon rash. I hear swarms of bees, but these are like the flies. Wonder what happened here. They have this garden of daikon radishes and they're just all like sitting here to rot. Hmm. Maybe they're an offering to the stone Buddha. Ah, you guys just missed it. There was like a tanuki or something. I think it was tanuki that just came running past here. I'm not surprised because that that's like a it's like an open buffet restaurant for these guys. So I'm sure there's a lot of them in this area down here. Sinkhole. Right here. Don't want to mess around over there. You don't see many of those around here. Well, these parts, anyway. There's like a bumblebee. Not too bad. Don't bother them, they won't bother you. I never really wanted to hike this mountain because it's just so open. There are no trees, no rivers, nothing like that, but I'm glad I came. Even though it's so open, it's very beautiful. And it's like I'm not in Japan for the day. I could take a trip somewhere else. You don't see this very often in Japan. This kind of scenery. Here comes a point where I need to decide. I want to go this way, straight to the uh, Nuki, Nuki Mountain, I think. Oh, Nuki, Mount Nuke, Nuki. Or do I want to take this way and then go around and it's like 25 minutes out of the way? Yeah, this way looks pretty cool. And this way looks like it's more limestone and more, more road. Oh, that's right. Yeah, let's go this way. This way. Mm, so, I changed my mind. I'll go the long way. Why not? See more of the scenery, I guess. Nice little row or path of limestone right here. This is not Japan. I don't know where we are, but it's not Japan. Finally some shade under the cover of the trees and the sounds of the cicada. Very peaceful for me. A lot of people don't like the sound that they make, but for me, it's something I look forward to every summer. back 
under the sun. And a cloudy today. Should have probably taken the other way. Because this way just put me on a road. The other way was a trail. Probably went right up there. Trail there. But I'll get there. There's people in front of me. Tell what that means. None of those things. This area is a national monument. It's a quasi national park. Kiss Rock. Kiss. And now Mickey. It's a nice view. Again, this is not Japan. This is another world, another dimension, but not Japan. So here we are, right here, and we're going all the way up to this spot right here. I'm guessing that's it right there. Right there. Let's go. Some more limestone formations right there. I just had to walk through a bunch of bush. I was up to my armpits. They had a lot of white things on them. I don't know what they were. They looked like eggs or something. Some kind of eggs. He wants to battle. You want to battle, little birdie? It's a nice little spot to maybe eat lunch. Here we are, getting there. 
Up there, I think. Not this one. This one. Okay, let's go. This is new. Somebody's bone. I don't know what kind of bone or whose bone it is, but I've never seen that before. Who knows what that could be? <clears throat> whose bone that could be? not a chicken bone that's for sure there's a better view of the city I don't know how well you can see it on this GoPro but pretty high up I think where we're going is 711 meters Tall, either that or 811. I think 711. I don't know. But we're getting there soon. I don't know, is this it? I thought it was over there, but maybe this is it up here. I don't think so. Still think it's back there. Behind this mountain. There's somebody taking pictures. Why not? It's a beautiful, beautiful view. But all of a sudden it started to get foggy. It was very sunny when we first started, but now it's like an overcast. supposed to rain today. It's supposed to be sunny actually. It looks like those are some dark clouds moving in. I just heard a loud bang coming from over there and you see all that dust flying up. They're doing excavation over there I guess. Mining and things. And I'm sure that was a big mountain at one point. Right, this whole section right there. There's a mountain at one point, I'm sure. But they start blowing those things up, cutting those mountains down. They do it a lot in Kitakyushu, especially. A lot of factories here. seen these trees since lived in America maybe. I remember those pine cones. Or maybe I have seen them, I just don't remember seeing them here in Japan very often. But starting to see things I'm familiar with. Trees. Finally some trees. Get some shade. I don't know if we go into the forest or not. It doesn't look like it. Walk up there. Here's some voices. Somebody went off into the forest, I think it looks like. I don't blame them. Getting out of the sun. It's kind of cloudy now, but. I'm in the middle of a walk of death. 
that last push before you get to the top. And I'm looking for a big limestone that I saw hundreds of them earlier, but when I need one to take a rest, take a quick break, there aren't any to be found. Hello, bird. So I like coming here to these mountains for those sounds, birds, the cicadas, but not the bees and not the mosquitoes. And surprisingly, I haven't came across any mosquitoes. That's good. I wonder why. Alright, here we go. Last push before we get to the top. You might not be able to tell, but that's a steep hill to climb. I think that's the last one. And then we're there. Let me take like two minutes to catch my breath. And then it's up we go. I do see a rock halfway. And I could sit at and take a break, but I don't think it'll be necessary. Alright, let's go. Okay. So I lied. The rock was necessary for me to take a break. Didn't look like a lot, but the la that last push took all my energy to keep going. You know, with the short break halfway, but we made it. Nukiyama, Nukiyama Sancho, top of Nukiyama. This way, I just want to see if there's a shrine. I thought I saw a shrine symbol on the map. I'm just gonna check quickly and go back the other way. I don't see anything. I don't want to go down too far. Then I'll just have to come back up. Mm. Looks like it's a little bit farther. Let's check. I go down too much. Bush is pretty tall. I didn't expect to see these on this mountain. Look here they are. Okay. Let's 
see if they have a small shrine down here or anything. Oh, there it is. Phew, just when I was going to give up. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know the significance of this shrine. I just saw, saw it on the map. down. No, that was going to take up, it's going to take down. But I changed it because I wanted to see the you know, what I shrine. Alright, let's go. Walk through those bushes again. Deep walking down and a lot of rocks. So it looks like it's easy to slip. Maybe I should have went down the way I came up. I don't know. You have to walk all the way down here, across there, and down that way. Let me focus on getting down here. It's taking a long time because it's steep and slippery. I'm glad I went up the way that I did because if I would have came up this way I don't know if I would have kept going this way it's extremely difficult it's very steep and slippery I don't know if I would have came up this way so I'm glad I came the other way that side I finally made it down that section that would have been tough going up that way. So now I gotta go this way. Hopefully there's not another section like that. This one doesn't look too bad. And when you're hiking in the forest, at least you have trees to hold on to if you slip. Uh, but out here, you slip and start to tumble. There's not much to grab onto as you're falling. So I kept putting this hike off. But glad I did it. It's nice. Frolic around here 
or along this path. It's like I'm in a sound of music video or a movie or something. You just start frolicking through these hills and grass and stuff. of a horror movie too. These rocks, limestone rocks, and the quiet, how quiet it is. With that bird or insect making that noise. And those, I don't know if they're caves down there or what, but some beast or monster could live down there. Let me write a movie. talking to me. And he asked you know, where it's from, same questions. And he asked, you know, what is my hobby? And I said hiking and you know, music. And he started to say I like smoking. And then he was asking if I smoke marijuana and all this stuff. I was like, no 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 no. Marijuana's big trouble here. That guy could have been a cop for all I know, but I haven't done anything like that. Especially not in Japan. That's big trouble. If you get caught doing that, that's the end. Even for a tiny small amount. Super trouble. Big, big trouble. You gotta get kicked out of here. As quick as a snap of a finger, I'll be out of here. Can't do anything stupid like that. I'd like to go down there, but no way, Jose. If you look at the left side of the mountain, it's all trees. And when you look at the right side of the mountain, it's all grass. Wonder how that happened. I 
That's where we hiked, by the way. That's the top. Nuki. Mount Nuki. This is from the top of Hizodai Mountain. View of a different country. No, this is Japan. Oh, let me stop saying that. It's part of what makes Japan beautiful. So many different landscapes and things. to the top. This is the view we have. This view is probably better than Nuki. Nuki. well tonight. That's where they're doing all the mining and excavating. They destroyed all those mountains. Go, look, look, look. Screaming, I started fighting. I made it to the bottom. Finally, started this hike at around 10 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock now. About six hours. It was good. I liked it. I'm glad that I took the other way first. That and that other steep way up. Glad, thanks to the Hilodai Shrine, I took the other way first. And I'm beat. I'm ready to go home. Maybe get some bubble tea on the way as a treat. And then rest. Netflix something that's my my plan I feel like I'm pass out so you know if you want to take a trip outside of Japan but stay inside of Japan you know that is a nice place to go doesn't 
seem like you're in Japan. There's such open fields and big grass. I felt like I was in Europe somewhere, Scandinavia. Somewhere. Alright, that's it guys. Until next week. Next